board has left me. Again, thank you for, for being so flexible again. Uh, for uh, 9-14, 2018, this meeting is being recorded. Uh, let's start out with a pledge. Uh, Jonathan. All right. <laughs> wow. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Okay, so this is a fairly short meeting. Um, some bookkeeping. Uh, so it turns out after discussion uh, with sustainability, um, our attempts to reach some kind of compromise is now back in play. <laughs> so given that there are the ones who, who basically moved forward to have some kind of uh, fracking ordinance, if they're not thrilled, they, they, maybe we're going to be able to work out some kind of uh, bridge language. We'll see. Um, they've agreed to sit down and talk and make sure that, you know, whatever is suggested is, is sort of workable. But at this point, uh, they're not thrilled with the version out there. So if they're not going to be thrilled, then, you know, uh, I figure we might as well just table it now. So right now, you know, we just have to vote to remove it from the overall ordinance package. So that's kind of where we are now. Okay. So I have a motion. Sure. Uh, I move to remove the proposed fracking ordinance from the October 4th, 2018 public hearing. Second. Second. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, it's removed. Okay, library roof project. So we went out to RFP. We had, Jonathan will show you all the bids. We had, what, six? Yeah, six bids. Right. And they ranged from 170-ish. Yeah, the bid up, up, if you look at the base bids up at the very top, mm -hmm. Streamline roofing, a base bid of $174,000. And the high was three ninety-five. dollars um, So, um, what, in that, just so you know, the $174,000 base bid from Streamline um, is enough to fit within our budgeted amount for the project. This is a partial roof replacement on the library roof. We've already put capital in the last two years. Yes. So the building committee and I met with Andy Architect, met with Streamline Roofing. We also met with the two other low bidders, Bay and Young developers. Interviewed them, so tell us a little about your company, tell us about your bid. We specifically talked to Streamline about their price and said, look, your price is significantly less than the next lowest bidder. Did you make a mistake? Um, he said, look, I will tomorrow just go over my numbers. He met with us actually the same day that he submitted these bids. So he said, look, tomorrow I'll go over my numbers again. I'll double check. And even at the meeting, he started talking about a shingle that wasn't the properly spec shingle. So sure enough, the next day, or the next day, I think it was the very next day, he emailed us saying, look, I made a mistake. I used the wrong shingle in the calculation. So at this point, um, we said, well, what would it cost to give us the proper shingle? It's about 30, 30 ish thousand dollars more. Um, so the building committee is going to meet on September 26th of this month to decide if they want to take that revised price. In the meantime, we did receive uh, an opinion, legal opinion from the town attorney saying that it is okay for us if, if we, if, if to, um, you know, negotiate with Streamline. Given the mistake, if we believe them, then they can increase their price. That increased price would just barely, barely get us under the budget. So that is where we are. Building committee meets on September 26th. They are going to, I think, vote at that time um, whether or not to hire Streamline or, or do something else, like throw out all the bids and come back in the spring and do it again. I'm not sure. So September, this is just an update. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you and answer any questions or hear any concerns you have. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are all for partial? This is all for partial roof Because the other part was already done for yeah. the last five years. Yeah. Okay. Five, ten, something like that. So with the exception of streamline, these are much higher than we had budgeted yes. for or anticipated. Yeah. And, and in fairness, the reason he came in lower, he said, well, this is, you know, end of summer job. You know, my guys can be put to work, we can get it done, I don't need to make a lot of profit. If, if you look down at his start time to that point, 
all the way down at the bottom of Streamline's column. He says that he can start on October 29th. Now that is a concern for the building committee because of weather. So the committee may negotiate with him a like March or April start time. If he can hold the price. But the other difficulty is if you like, you know, yeah, so that's, that's, and just, the discussion is to be had, you know, the building committee is going to have on the 29th. And just going back in time, we, um, there's no proposal anywhere for um, replacing the whole roof with uh, asphalt? No, the building committee did go, I went there as well with, to the historic district uh -huh. uh, commission and had a conversation with them and they basically, they said, look, well, our job is just to rule, you know, we, we decide on proposals, you know, I've not presented, but we can tell you, you know, just give you a preliminary opinion and you know, we're not going to, no, we, we expect, we want wish sorry, they, they, they said in no uncertain terms, you know, our opinions, we want like replacement on that roof. Uh -huh. So, and we do have a history in town with that, with town hall and, and slate roofs, and there was a, a protracted, extended debate, um, and we ended up with slate roofs again. Um, so, the, you know, it, it, my understanding is from an architectural point of view, that is a historically relevant building despite the period um, being back in what, the 50s or 60s? Yeah, that was built. Sure. Um, but it is a iconic representation of that kind of architecture in the 50s, and as such, they believe they wanted to maintain its character as sort of, you know, a historic representation of construction at the time, and the wood shingles are. So, you know, they. Yeah, no, I hear you. This, for whatever reason, this is just a bee in my bonnet, and it's, it's, and, and, it's it. and it's just driving me crazy. That because right now, if we didn't have shoreline, we'd be in trouble. Yeah, we we'd be in a, couldn't we'd, do it at all. We couldn't do it, and we're all, and we're basically at, at, uh, on bended knee in front of these guys because they're basically half price, almost they're forty percent lower than everybody else, and I just don't think it's the prudent thing to do right now. To spend two hundred and twenty thousand dollars to replace part of a roof without exploring doing the whole thing under something else that has a long-term viability that's a lot cheaper and has a lot less uh, upkeep than wood and i just i've asked it a thousand times and i'm going to keep asking it and i'm going to keep fighting it because it's driving me nuts i just don't think it's the right time to spend the money sorry so i feel so there's really two paths that i would want to I'm not sure that I want to explore them actually, but I want to get it out there. We have talked about this a number of times in, in, uh, in these hearings, and uh, often people throw up their hands and say, we can't do anything about it. It's in a historic district, so cost is no object. And that drives me a little nuts. I mean, it's true that cost is no object when you're in a historic district, but whether this remains in a historic district is up to us. Right. And that being said, having looked at the library, I do think that the wood shingles are probably, as you say, they are kind of, it's kind of an iconic view of Weston and, and mm -hmm. it might be very difficult to, uh, to do something aesthetically that, that holds that. Yeah. Not the, not foreclosing the discussion, but I, I just want to say that. I know we can have them come and explain the logic behind, you know, the decision making, you know, to, to, to hear from the historic district commission, right? Well, or yeah, I mean, the, the, the decision to put asphalt on, on this roof, I thought was a travesty. And I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want us to be responsible for something like that again. The library, however, does have a sort of aesthetic appeal, yeah. but not to say that we shouldn't discuss yep. it. Yep. Um, and my well, other point well, is, we're going to keep asphalt on the fire department. At least. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, if it's if it's a huge cost overrun, we should talk about it. And the money's being largely donated for that. So, um, hey, I, well, I can relate to you. I think it's pretty very clear sentiment expressed by the historic district commission and it was you know we have our job to do and wood shingles that is the what that is you know they basically said you know in you know, certain terms wood shingles are appropriate on that building mm -hmm. and we really don't get into price yeah and and that's my point yeah, yeah. the answer to that is if we want to do something different is remove this yeah. building and the library from, from yeah. the historic. Yeah. 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 So, 
But it is that, it is a possibility. It may not be popular. <laughs> well, no, but it is you know, it's something we can have a public hearing to discuss just to get input. Yeah. If we're not going to have a vote at that point in time, just to get people's thoughts and to have an open discussion about it. I, I just want to make the point that Brian's concerned. There are solutions to what Brian is talking about. There are. There yeah. are. Uh, is there a patching solution? Does this have to be a partial roof replacement? My or understanding is there there have been parts that have leaked and it's not feasible to just patch it because the, I think the consensus is once you start getting that degradation in one area, it means that you're probably just going to you know cascade out over mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So something needs to be done with that half the roof, from my understanding, doesn't need to be done this year. I think it can wait. I think it can wait till the spring to be done. It, it, it all makes a lot of sense. I just want to make sure that we're making informed decisions. Minus from this is the spreadsheet that we spent a lot of time with that laid out a 50-year plan that shows that wood is astronomically more expensive than, than, uh, than regular shingles. Uh, no doubt, we look at metal. And I got it all. And, I'm, and, I, and, I believe that, and, 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 I, and I believe that it will look better to have wood. But it wouldn't be prudent to spend $225,000 and we're lucky to get it at that price. And, we're, and I guarantee that it'll come in higher. There's another, and there's another, I guess, another dynamic yeah. dimension to this is uh -huh. the wood shingles, and our architect has said it, that he's seeing now are lasting like 15 years. They're not going to last that long. They don't last that long. So. Exactly. How much of the roof are we pet? Remind me, how much half. of the pet? Half. So we're so going to do four, another. Sorry. About half. Approximately. Not for We just did the, for the, the other half. No, the, yeah, the other one did maybe 2000. Or something like that, then it was done. 11. Do you remember what that cost us? Uh, I, you know, it's funny. I, I just asked for the contract yesterday, so I'll get that. Um, I, I think now that one looks good, so we may get 20 or more years on that one. Um, I'm sure, it relies largely on what the wet winters are like mm -hmm. during the life of the roof. Yeah. My, 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 the, uh, which, which part of it is the, the, the addition, are you then talking about the addition of, you know, the no. community room? The side farthest away from Northfield. Yes, the community room, over the community room, and that side. So yes. But not the... The, uh, the flat roof, too. Yes. But not the one that, that's the... Uh, no, that was previously redone. That's the iconic part. Mm. Yeah, but you can't have two different. Because the original library that was so loved and everything is the that area that Absolutely. was added to twice. Yes. And I was here. I have a whole page. Yeah. The myself. question is, can you have two different roofing materials? And I, I don't. I don't think that's something that I want to. You don't. Wanna, no, you don't. Want to I, do I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to screw up the whole process. But just it is a very reasonable discussion. I mean, it, not just because of the initial cost. But it's the cost multiplied by the longevity, so it's, it's basically half the lifespan and twice the cost. So it's four times four times as expensive. It's expensive to maintain historical integrity, and you know that may be something people are interested in and want. But you're right, you know it is something we need to to evaluate when we're you know making these trade-offs. If we had to go with the three to four hundred thousand dollars, that there's a lot that can do in town besides replace a roof. Yeah, cross out shoreline and then see what your decision would be. Right, and that that then we would be having a different discussion. So right, the other part is we're going to get I don't know twenty to thirty years out of an asphalt shingle rate. Twenty five, buy them for thirty. Kind yeah, no, mm -hmm. depends on weather, but yep. and even if it's a shingle that's made to look something color wise. Is there a maintenance cost of wood? Do you have to regularly uh, there's, yeah, there's, there's a debate. Yeah, there's, 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 there's an ongoing debate you whether you need to them. You can oil them, what mm -hmm. I believe. You can power wash them. Power wash. But they, there's schools of thought that you should or shouldn't do it. Yeah. So. yeah. Linseed oil. Yep. That you can rub. <laughs> no, it is, it seriously, is, this is a, you it know, is. kind of. It's a status symbol now, so then it was just a regular building material. People are now going back to it because it's, you know, it's kind of like slate. Um, but it does require much more maintenance yeah. and, you know, whether you can treat it or not. And then there's, you know, they have to make sure that it's flame retardant to some extent. You know, I guess 
one of the things that could be done is, you know, there's this upcoming meeting, it's the last Wednesday of the month, um, with the building committee, you can attend and talk to them, and if you want to have a joint meeting, I, I don't know, I'm just throwing out something. I, I, what I do know is the building committee needs to make, um, if, if this project is going to be done at, with wood, then the building committee needs to act on it soon because the contractor, yeah, it's going to be streamlined, and that we need to get an agreement with them soon, so they can kind of set, lock us in for you know post winter work. Right? Will be that first job, let's say. You might not get the right same price. The first job, he prices is the last job. Yeah, and that's the that's the conversation they're going to. I think he's already said I would be. I'm even willing to work with you to get you okay. in as that first job. Yeah. Okay. So all these guys have a contract start date of September or October or November, right? Yeah, yeah. None of them are talking about spring. These prices may be... Yeah, you generally don't get out that far because they don't have that kind of visibility. So, mm -hmm. I mean, if, the, if this does have to go in spring, we would have to make them sign something that we can go for locking in this price with the spring start, which, you know, is okay. terrible. Okay. So we will keep talking. Let us know if you want a joint building committee meeting or if you want to, you can go there. If any two of us go, then we have to, you know, post it as a joint meeting. So just let us know what you're interested in. I mean, uh, I think you're going to be a very forceful advocate. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to trump that. So I, I would respectfully suggest that if one of you go, that the others strongly consider joining as well. Um, given the magnitude of the cost, and mm -hmm. with it, the board selection itself has discussed this. When is it? Time. It is the last Wednesday of this month at 7.30 p.m. I think that's the 26th or the 29th. I put it on my phone. 29th is the Saturday. Uh, yeah, right, so it's the 26th. That's tough. Right. Well, well, we don't have to make a decision. Okay. Um, so now we're going to an executive session. We will not have a vote after. Um, just to give you an update on... Uh, Land stuff. Okay. Motion. I move, motion. To enter into executive session. I move to enter into executive session to discuss potential real estate acquisition. May I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, it is nine.